This week I got a call from my good friend Jim, and he's dealing with an issue that a lot of men are dealing with. And you know men, don't you? You see them out there in the morning, drinking wine, beating each other. So like any good friend, I hopped in an Uber Select and went to pick him up to see what was going on. Hello, mate. How you going, man? Good. Welcome. Thanks. So what's been going on with you? Well, you know, I've been doing stand-up now for 15 years. For the first, say, oh, 12 years, I did a lot of misogynistic jokes. And I feel now good with ones, the... Too. Good ones, yeah, man. And I always thought that people understood that I was joking, so they were in on the character. But now I feel like a lot of people took them more seriously or were laughing for the wrong reasons. Yeah. But I've definitely uh, toned it down a bit, but I'd like some help with my material. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is like, I've been dealing with a lot of the same stuff. You know, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Like, I'm almost afraid to even have a dick anymore. What's wrong with your dick? No, it's just like, it feels like I have a weapon. It's like I leave the house with like a knife that's made out of like dick meat or, you know, it's like not even a, it just feels dangerous. But look, man, I'm just as scared as anybody right now. It's like, I'm just, I don't know if it's okay to be a man. I don't know if it's okay to wear a turtleneck. Do you feel like being masculine is being taken away? I always thought that women like that. A man who takes control, confidence. In, in Sweden now, you have to ask to change positions during sex. Oh, really? Yeah, you go, I'm, I'm gonna change position now. Are you okay with that? Like, put your Can't blinker on. Can't just be on. fucking someone, flip them over. And, oh. Because then you... That's my move. That's my only move. That's my only move. Is, is, the, is the flip. So Jim has a lot of questions about how men are supposed to act in this day and age. And especially also how we as comedians are supposed to entertain so that we are not offending people like on purpose maybe. I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. So who better to answer our questions about the opposite sex than someone who's both a comedian and a feminist? This is like a group of girls that I meet up with. They're like badass, like gangsters, like independent women, like feminists, but not like too hardcore. Okay. Okay, because you guys are trying to like understand what you can say oh. and what you can't say. Uh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, just we looked. Just, we, we were afraid to get out of the car. Like, yeah. And, <laughs> and they they want to learn too. They want to learn from you guys what you guys are saying. Ah, good. Be respectful. Come on. Yeah, okay. Come on. I like your what? body. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So Whitney has been my friend for a long time, and today she has a group meetup that Jim and I can learn from, and I trust her. A lot of my guy friends are trepidatious. They feel like they can't make jokes. They don't want to offend anyone. They don't want to upset anyone. If you and I go do a spot at the comedy store, same, we both do 20 minutes. Do you think we should get paid the same amount? Yes. Then you're a feminist. Do you ever feel like there are feminists out there that give other feminists a bad name? Yes. 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 Because yes. yes. there are a lot of women that think they're feminists, but they're actually just assholes. Mm -hmm. And we're in this climate where women can't even call out other women or people freak out and you're slut shaming and you're fed. And it's a really unhealthy dynamic. Okay, so Theo, like, what's your biggest fear? Um, probably fire mostly. <laughs> I mean, within the context of all the Me Too stuff. And oh. The, do you feel like you are comfortable going on stage with the material we've talked? Is there stuff you guys want to talk through? I did a Valentine's Day joke that, that does the rounds every year. Uh, all Valentine's Day is a mathematical equation that every man has in his head, and it's how much money do I have to spend so that you won't act like a cunt? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's funny to me. Here's why that's funny to me. I don't think you're talking about me. Yeah. I just go, Jim dates dummies. That joke was about all women. <laughs> I thought that these feminists were gonna be super angry. I thought they were gonna have little like knives that were like carved out of bone, out of man bone. But I thought that these ladies were very accepting. I didn't feel like that they were angry. They just wanted to make sure that they were heard. It, there's like two sides of the Me Too movement for men. You can be on the mo like on the bad guy side, which is like Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby, or you can be like the heroes of this and like be the dudes that are like, hey, how can I support you women? What can I do that will make you feel more safe? Or like, what joke can I tell that will be supportive? I normalize the word cunt in America more than probably anyone mm -hmm. has. It's another swear word. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I have a problem with the C word. Yeah. I don't even like to say it. I can and say it for you. You just tell me when. Put up your hand. And <laughs> you do the sentence, and then I'll go cunt, and then. <laughs> what if you call somebody's pussy a dream catcher? Would you like that? I like that. I like that. But what about a guy splitting the bill with you? 
I actually offer, and I've talked about this all the time, I think you should reach. I'm, yeah, I'm but happy. they get the purse out, but they're very yeah, quick to they, put it back away. Yeah. I have paid for three trips to Thailand. Oh, wow. Huh? How's the surgery going? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I really appreciate you guys' time. I think, you know, I'm not afraid to talk to feminists. I feel less nervous than when I came in here. Jim? I also feel less nervous. <laughs> These women are a lot more supportive than I thought they would be. And when somebody lets you share your thoughts and really listens to those, it really makes it a lot easier for you to hear theirs. I want to invite you to a feminist um, art show. It's avant-garde, the performance okay, good. artist, it's one-woman shows. Yeah, we will come to it. Um, would you do a set for us? Um, yeah. Look, Jim is a very smart man. Probably one of the six or seven thousand or thirty thousand, maybe third, fifty to eighteen thousand, the smartest men around. And from this experience, he will develop an educated perspective because that's what he does with all experiences, and that's what good comedians do. Hi, I'm Mom. This is my pussy, my choice. Wow. Weird name for a baby. <laughs> my pussy, my pussy. My pussy, my pussy, my pussy, my pussy, my pussy, my pussy, my pussy is not a rap song for you to rap about. It is mine and mine only. It's definitely a unique environment here. And if you want to be in less fear of a group like feminists, spend some time with them. Not just a hole, I queef, I scream the history of sadness so that we all can chant together. Not just a hole, not just a hole. You know, I felt honored that they invited us, and I was even more surprised at how accepting they were of me being able to share my thoughts. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? Yes, of All course. Right. There we go. I consent. Okay, I consent. there you go. So, no sex. Um, I tried to write a poem, and I am pretty nervous, uh, but I will do my best. My wiener is chill, man. It ain't trying to do no crime. It ain't even that hard a lot of the time. And that's true, actually, because a lot of times I'll get, like, those wiener pills from the gas station. You know what I'm talking about? Them real giraffe makers, you know? Make my legs sweat, actually. My wiener is trill. My wiener is candid. It looks like Joe Pesci. It's that wet bandit. Um, but I'm lit to the fact that girls are far more than sex. They are champions and soldiers with power in their breasts. They are creative and equal and warm and life-bringing. I love Dolly Parton, but it's because of her singing. <laughs> My wiener is chill, man. It ain't trying to do crime. It ain't even that hard a lot of the time. My wiener ain't Weinstein. My wiener ain't Cosby. But sometimes it wishes for a little bit of Vajazby. You feel me? Hello. Uh, this is a uh, poem's called uh, Things I Thought Of Today. <laughs> I'm a man, sort of, and I try to do right, like Rosie O'Donnell taking a small bite. She's a, she's a big girl. But it's so confusing to know what to think and what to say. If only I wasn't an atheist, at least I could pray. Okay. Uh, I used women for sex, and some have used me. They seem depressed. <laughs> so we're all the same, except you sit when you pee, and you can't spell woman without men, and there's no men without woman. So I guess at the end of the day, we're, we're all just pieces of shit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So I don't dislike feminists. I don't dislike feminists. I just don't want to hear their poetry. There were moments that I enjoyed and there were moments that I had also fear. But at least we learned something, you know? We didn't. I think I learned a little bit during the day with the group. I think they became more accepting, you became more accepting, I became more accepting. And then the poetry ruined it all and now I'm back to where I fucking started. I'll say this, I learned that they laugh at a lot more stuff than I thought they would. I didn't think that they would laugh at anything. But I wasn't, I, I, I think they, most of them were seen pretty, I don't even know. I'm dumber for hearing that sentence. Yeah. 
Today was a really good day. I got to take one of my heroes into, you know, snatch Ganistan and really see what was going on with some feminists. And in the end, I think we both learned some stuff. We learned that some feminists are cool. It takes a lot of fabric and extra textiles to make one of those vajostums. And three, I really like Uber Select. And then I'll tip my driver the same, whether they're male or female. Can I have permission to hug? Yeah, yeah, you get in there. Good evening, good afternoon, and other times. Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay. But the next video you could watch could be way better. What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could. Watch this one. Ah!